Hello, my name is Dr. Rob Young. I'm an organizational psychologist and a coach at a consultancy called Talent Space. And I'd like to talk to you about how you can improve your skills and achieve your goals, whether they're professional or personal. But let's think about what your goal is, first of all. It might be something such as achieving your next qualification, learning a foreign language, or learning any personal skill, such as becoming more assertive, beating procrastination, or perhaps becoming a better listener. Now, the first step I would suggest is to write down your overarching goal and then to break it up into a number of smaller practical actions. However, these actions should take a very specific format because research shows that actually people may be more successful when they write their goals as implementation intentions. So the form of these statements is if a certain situation arises, then I will perform a certain behavior. So these are often called if-then statements. Those are the important bits of the phrasing. So an example, imagine that I want to become a more charismatic presenter and public speaker. I might write down, say, a half dozen or a dozen statements, and these might be some examples. If I am preparing for a presentation, then I will rehearse out loud at least three times. If I am giving a presentation, then I will make eye contact with people in all four corners of a room. If I am feeling nervous, then I will remind myself that nerves and excitement are physiologically very similar, and I should think of this as an exciting opportunity to impress an audience. Now, remember, these are examples, so I'm not saying that even if you do want to work on your presentation skills, that you should do these exact behaviours, but the point is that these should be if-then statements. You can also schedule things into your diary which might happen on an occasional basis. For example, if I want to improve my networking skills, I might say, if it's a Friday afternoon, then I will look through my contacts and try to set up a networking meeting for the following week. If I'm trying to study, for example, then I might write into my diary, if it's a Sunday evening at 7 p.m., then I will study for three hours. Now, the point I'm trying to make, really, is that even the accomplishment of quite large goals can be done by the accumulation of lots of smaller actions. For example, if you want to go for your next promotion, there may be many things you need to do. You may have done some analysis and found that actually you may need to learn about a half dozen technical topics. Perhaps you need to accrue certain experiences and develop certain skills. There may be a dozen or more things you need to work on. But you can start making progress by breaking things down into if-then statements. Now, you may be thinking that actually this if-then implementation intention phrasing is a bit unwieldy or cumbersome, and it's true. But trust the research done by multiple groups of researchers all over the world that actually it helps people to be more successful. For example, there was a study done a few years ago by researchers looking at people who are trying to lose weight. The researchers split the participants into two groups, one group were invited to formulate their own goals. The other half were asked to formulate if-then goals. When the researchers monitored these people and actually weighed them several months later, they found that people who had written if-then goals had lost roughly twice as much weight as people who had formulated their own goals. So think about it this way that whether your goals are personal or professional in nature, by writing if-then goals, you could be roughly doubling your chances of success.